Hello everyone. Visual appeal is important. Colors play a significant role. Say goodbye to dull database styles and embrace sleek, minimalist designs that are both functional and visually pleasing to your business. Introducing Canvas Builder feature in Zoho Creator. Harness the power of this dynamic tool to craft personalized record views. The standard detail view layout displays record data in its original form. However, Employing the Canvas Builder enhances its visual attractiveness and provides a customized record overview. Let's explore this feature using an order management application. This is the All Orders report. We'll now create a personalized view based on the data collected through the orders form. Go to the editor, choose the report. Under the Detail View section, select Create New Layout. The Canvas Builder offers some of the most popular ready-to-use templates to create customized layouts such as profile creation for employee or students, showcasing rental properties and room details, generating sales or order invoice, displaying product information, designing a loan application. You can choose the required layouts depending on your requirement. When you hover your mouse over the top right corner of a layout, you will find template usage suggestions. Additionally, Zoho Creator offers an import option to use your existing layout from local drive in JSON file format. The application's theme color and report's real-time data will be auto-captured for both preview and use template actions. You can preview a template before using it. For demonstration purpose, we'll create a layout from scratch. The screen you see now is the builder. On the left panel, there are three modules. Data, Elements, Style. Data. As the name suggests, this contains all the form and system fields data along with an option to configure custom actions and functionalities. Elements This module contains different elements like tabs, icons and texts to organize the data in a structured manner. Style This section enables you to change background color, font size and the borders. Let's create an order summary template from scratch to learn how these functionalities work. Let's drag a section from the Elements module and drop it onto the Builder. These sections can be considered as containers that can hold fields, actions, functionalities together. All the elements can be either changed to fixed or fluid components. Fixed components restrict the resizing action of the element. In contrast to the fixed component, the fluid component allows resizing elements to fit the user screen. Let's add a text into the section from Elements module you can resize it as needed. Then, increase the font size of the order summary. Adding an icon will make it more attractive. To do that, go to the elements and drag and drop the icon onto the builder. Let's add an order list icon from the list. You can change the background and text color to enhance its visibility. Next, drag and drop a tab into the Builder. Click on the tab and click Unname tab and you will be automatically taken to the Style module. Go to the Style section to rename it. Let's add the Order ID, Customer Name, Email and Delivery fields from the Data module onto the Tab section. Conditional formatting the field names draws attention to specific data points and conveys the information more effectively. Here, let's add conditional formatting for the home delivery type. Next, in the data module, there are other elements such as custom actions, Related Blocks, Custom Functionalities. Let's add another section next to the Customer Details to add the buttons that we'll configure next. Resize the Customer Details tab. Let's change the background color of this section and add a static text as actions. Let's bold and underline it.
From the data module, let's configure custom actions by creating buttons. We'll create three buttons. To know the status of an order, provide the product feedback, raise a return request. Firstly, click on the configure new action and give a name to the action. The workflow has to run always and the execution must be at once. Name the workflow, click create workflow, click add new action. Click on the notification, send notification, select the users based on users list. In the to column, add the mail address to which you have to send the notification. Give a title to it and add a message. The report should be all orders. Click save, then click done and create the workflow. We have now added a custom function. From the custom action, drag the function we created now and place it on the builder. We can also customize the button in the left panel. Let's configure a button to open a form for users to leave product feedback. Follow the same process to create a workflow. Click Dilute script to create your own script. In the deluge builder, type open URL. Next, type within the string quote slash form colon add review one unquote. Same window, where the add review one is the form link name. Click save and close the builder, then click done and click create. Upon clicking this button, user will be taken to the review form in the application. We have created another button to raise the return request by following the same process as we did earlier to review a product, drag and drop the action onto the builder. Next, in related blocks, related form sections will be listed. From related block lists the other forms that are used as lookup field in the current form. Two related block displays forms in which the current form is used as a lookup. We'll drag and drop the from related block items onto the builder. It will be automatically displayed in table format. You can change that into a summary or template format. Click on the table to change the label and values background colors. The record comments is a custom functionality that enables adding comments to a record, ensuring effective communication. In our case, we can use the comment section for customers to raise delivery requests. Next, add a line to segregate the next part on the builder. Let's make it a fluid component so that the line resizes even if we expand the detail view of the report. Add the grand total field from data module to the bottom right and increase the font size to make it visible. Also, in the layout, we have other options to do various tasks. Undo Redo Options like Undo Redo help in reinstating our past actions. Export The export icon helps you in saving the layout in JSON format. Full Screen You can enable full screen by using this expand icon. Renaming You can rename the default name of the layout here. Rename it as Order Summary. Click Save. We are done creating the custom layout. Let's see how it looks in the live app. Great! This is the custom layout we just configured containing data from form fields, interactive custom buttons, and information gathered from multiple forms. Let's click the custom action button to trigger the notification. Yes, we can see the notification to track the order. Also, the review product and return buttons take the users to the respective forms. We would have seen a lot of call to action buttons in many e-commerce platforms that perform desired actions upon clicking them. Likewise, we have created buttons in the reports that perform actions that will make the application eminent and make the user experience amicable. Awesome! This is one simple instance of using the Canvas Builder. You can customize the detailed view of reports as per your convenience to make it more enticing in use cases like Profile Creation for student, employee or to create a resume, product summary, invoices, order or sales and for many such purposes. We have come to the end of the video.
Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video.